What's going on YouTube? Controversy here and welcome back to another video. So with Roadhog finally appearing to be out of meta, many more heroes now have the opportunity to take their place back in the meta. Consequently, this will also make it so where other heroes will get played less. So here's a list of five heroes that are going to be at the top of the meta. But before we get into that, I'm really close to 2k subs. So if you guys could help me out and just hit that sub button, it would really mean a lot. And let's go ahead and hop right into the video. So the very first hero that I want to talk about is one that was really just kind of one of the most prominent heroes prior to Roadhog being played, and that's Winston. Now, Winston received a lot less play once people realized that Roadhog was actually really just that guy. And because of that, Winston fell from grace and people no longer played him. He didn't get nerfed. There weren't any balance changes towards him at all. It just seemed to be that there was another hero that took the top spot. And because of how well the matchup is versus him, it made it to where Winston just didn't get played anymore. And since Winston really wasn't meta anymore, it made openings for heroes like Ash and Widow to shine a lot more, which could be why people believe that there is a Widow issue right now. Regardless, with everyone playing Orisa, her biggest flaw is dive, and Winston does that the best out of every tank. His ability to simply just ignore the Orisa and dive the backline is definitely going to shoot him back up into a meta position, especially how well he can pick off heroes like Widow and other support heroes like Ana which is likely going to lead those heroes to be played less. And remember, before Roadhog took the top spot, every team in Overwatch League was running the same exact composition and they were all using Winston. So I see no reason why he can't take his spot back. Next up, let's talk about Ramatra because Ramatra has a pretty good matchup against Winston, but not as oppressive of a matchup as Roadhog had against Winston. So it still makes him a good pick and it still makes Winston viable. But due to the nature of how Ramacha's mode shift works, he can peel in order to help out the backline anytime Winston tries to dive. And he can just attack right through his bubbles, which makes him a very solid matchup against Winston. Furthermore, Ramacha was already pretty decent in the meta, even when Roadhog and Orisa was kind of the top two tanks. And that's because his ability to poke is really good and his ability to just change the tempo and get in there and turn into a brawl style comp and get in their face with one of the best ultimates, if not the best ultimate in the game. Overall, Ramacha was already a top tank and with the fall of Roadhog, it only makes him even better. Next for DPS heroes, I wanna talk about Sojourn. Now I know Sojourn recently got a balance update, but it really was not enough to make any sort of significant change in her being in the meta. Now, honestly, since we know that we're not gonna be getting any new DPSers at all this year, I think that what they're trying to do is keep Sojourn as meta, but make her less oppressive. So because of that, she's always going to remain a top DPSer in my opinion. With that being said, since Winston is going to be, in my opinion, meta again, Sojourn has very good utility to prevent her from being dove on by Winston. She'll also be able to move around more freely without having to worry about getting one shot by Roadhog, which will make her even more devastating. And as I said, they may have changed the rate at which her railgun charges to make it a little bit slower since she can no longer get a boost from a mercy pocket but nevertheless her damage is still so strong that it doesn't really matter and she still can delete you pretty much just as fast as she always could for those reasons i see no reason why she's going to fall out of the meta and i still think that she is an almost must pick but next let's go ahead and talk about reaper now i think reaper is kind of a hero that just again kind of like winston just fell off people stopped playing him as much and that's mainly because he really wasn't as good against Roadhog as people thought he was, but someone he is undeniably good against is Winston. Reaper is able to stay near his support in order to protect them from the enemy diving Winston. And on top of that, if he's in a team fight on an objective, he's incredibly strong to deal with Winston and anyone else on the objective. Add that with his capability of being able to flank the backline using his teleport and his ability to get out of any sort of sticky situation with his Wraith, on top of having one of the strongest offensive ultimates in the game Blossom, he's going to be meta again without a doubt. And again, with Roadhog being out of the meta, he can't get hooked out of position and get pretty much annihilated for almost all of his health, forcing his Wraith and to retreat. Now in this instance, you're going to have to actually pump shots into him in order to force his Wraith out, unlike how you did with Roadhog. Lastly, I want to talk about the support hero who I think will get played more, and that is Lucio. Now, it's not like Lucio wasn't being played. It just felt like there was other heroes that needed to be played because of Roadhog being in the meta. For instance, many people opted to pick Ana in this situation where Roadhog was being played because of how well her matchup was against him. But due to the nature of that, if both teams were running a Roadhog, that means both teams were probably running an Ana. 
And since both teams are running Ana, the Kiro who counters Ana the most is Kiriko. So what it generally led to was team comps being either Ana Kiriko or Kiriko in Mercy due to the Mercy Sojourn boosting. So in many of matchups, Lucio just wasn't being played as much. He was still played in certain maps like Ilios and other maps where you have the potential to boop someone off of the map. But for the most part, I really wasn't seeing Lucio played that much. And since I think Winston's going to be into the meta again, I think that Lucio is also going to come back into the meta due to how well he can speed boost people out of bad positions from getting dove on. Not only that, Lucio has just still always been a really solid support hero and has easily a top three support alt in the game in my opinion. So there's honestly no reason why people shouldn't be playing him more. Not only that, Lucio pairs very well with a lot of the meta heroes, including Ramantra, Winston, Reaper, and Sojourn, as he allows them in order to get in and get out of fights very well. So I think Lucio is definitely going to see a bit more play but there are five of the top heroes that i think you should be playing if you guys enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful please leave a like on it and if you want to come back and see more overwatch content smash that sub button and i'll see you guys in the next video